As you might know, VRChat is pretty demanding. World avatars and the amount of lights and people in a world make all the difference on how VRChat runs on your PC and your Quest. If you have a low-end PC or just want to have a smooth VRChat experience, let me show you how to set up VRChat so you can have a lot more fun without having to worry about frames per second or frame drops. Let's start off with VRChat's in-game settings. Open your menu, go to the settings bar and click on graphics. You might be familiar with this kind of graphics menu. Here, lower down the overall graphics settings to low. Anti-aliasing should also be disabled for a smoother experience. If you scroll down a little, you also have some extra settings here. I personally recommend turning down the particle physics quality to low and turn on particle limiter. This one right here is very important for performance since lights in VR should have a pretty big impact on your performance and quality. To have the best experience, turn off pixel light count. This can actually make a difference from 20 to 60 FPS since VRChat worlds usually have poorly optimized light sources and use real-time lighting which drains FPS and power. What many users also forget about is avatar settings. Since avatars on VRChat can be quite large when they are not optimized, they usually drain a lot of frames due to having either multiple materials, polygons or lights. Click on avatars and scroll down until you see avatar optimization. I'd recommend blocking very poor avatars at first. This will, just as it says, block avatars that rank under very poor and turn these into VRChat robots. I also recommend turning down the maximum download size to either 100 megabytes or 80 megabytes. This really depends on your PC performance. I personally have it on 100 megabytes. Let's move on from the avatar tabs and go on to the security settings, which actually has quite an impact on the performance on VRChat. You have four options here from maximum security to none, but we will actually customize our security settings. Settings. Turn off all audio, lights and particles, shaders, custom animations and animated emojis on visitor, new user, user, known user and trusted user. For friends, you want to keep them all on since you want to have the best experience with your fellow VRChat people, right? Now if you for example plan to attend an event or join a world with a lot of users in it, you will usually encounter frame drops and low FPS. To counter these effects, there are a few options and settings to get some of your frames back. For example, if you open your launch pad and go to the settings menu, there actually is an option to limit the amount of avatars being shown as well as a customized radius that you can set here. This will help drastically with frames when you attend an event or join a world with so many people in it. Now this video was for VRChat in game settings only. Would you like to see a video for optimizing VRChat on your headset, may it be Steam VR or Oculus Quest? Let me know down in the comment section and like this video for the algorithm. And as always, take care in the virtual as well as in reality. Ciao ciao!